from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for January 19th, 2017. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the USD CHF, the US dollar versus the Swiss franc for today's trade analysis. Now, it's important to remember about 25 minutes from the recording of this video, we do have some news popping up 8.30 a.m. Eastern U.S. time. We have uh, some Canadian news coming out. We have the ECB press conference. We have some U.S. data being released at 8.30. So uh, that could change a little bit the dynamics of the analysis that I'm getting ready to give you now. But uh, as the market stands, this is what we can see. Over the past several weeks, we have seen an uptrend for the U.S. Frank. That's the blue trend line that you see here on the chart. It moved higher all the way up into the 1.0300 level. Capped out as resistance up there and over the past few weeks has started to move back down. The black trend line that you see on the top right hand corner of the chart. So with that downward fall, we can see the market pressuring lower highs, lower lows, and even breaking through what was historical support now going to act as our resistance for the day today. One other aspect of the chart is that the Forex Black Book trend bar, the, the green and red bar at the very bottom of my chart has turned red over the past couple of weeks, giving us a, a bearish buy. So we not only have the black trend line, we have the Forex Black Book has turned red and we have pushed underneath what was support now going to act as our resistance let's go ahead and zoom it in one more time here on the daily time frame and what i mean by historical support becoming resistance i'm just going to get a little circle shape here and draw it out and then i'll bring it down right in this area so you see right there where the black circle is that was obviously support the market came down one two three four five days found support turn around and went back up again. So as we look at that, and we can see just not too far beyond that, we can see the market spiking down in there, low liquidity spike during the holiday season, dip down there right around the 1.0055 level, turn around and went back up. Today, important, is that we are underneath that. Uh, we can see that yesterday, the market, in the past two days, market dipped all the way down in towards the 1.0 level. 1.0015 is the top of the pink shaded area. Found support yesterday, rallied back into the yellow zone uh, on some comments made by Fed Chair Yellen. The market rallied, the U.S. dollar rallied, and went back into the yellow zone as resistance close to the, of course, black trend line. So if you're going to sell something, anything, doesn't matter what you're selling, just like here on currency pairs, if you're going to sell something, you actually want it to go up. You want to sell something at a higher price. Doesn't matter what you're selling, you want to sell something at a higher price. So in, in the case of the dollar franc, you wanted it to go up. So you have a better opportunity, uh, a better investment for your money before you look for an opportunity to go short. Take it down to the four hour time frame. So like I said, it's not a bad thing in my opinion that went it up before we look for it to go back down. And we could take a look at just the past uh, couple of weeks where we've seen a similar situation. I'm gonna put a couple of more of those circles on the chart where it went up and found resistance and then went back down. Here's another one right here. Let's throw another circle here on the chart. There's a period where it went up and let me see if I can get that pulled out. There you go. Uh, it went up before turning around from the green shaded area and going back down. So we're in that similar situation where we've gone up, touched the yellow shaded area, and with the comments made by Fed Chair Yellen, went up into that yellow zone. Now what we're looking for is the momentum of the selling pressure that we've had for the past few weeks to take back hold and take back in control. And you know, I could even take this black circle here and put it here and that even makes more sense with the similar situation that we have right there so you see it go up from the green zone to the orange zone went down to the green zone went up a little bit more went down from the yellow zone went up to the green zone down to the yellow zone up to the green zone and then made a new low so here we are back into the yellow zone acting as our resistance now with the forex black book we look for red or yellow downward facing arrows as signals that momentum is shifting you can see the yellow arrow here here and here we don't have a new signal yet so maybe over the next four to eight hours we get a new signal showing bearish momentum coming back in and for the market to continue down to the pink zone as our first target that parity level into the pink zone or if it continues to break down through that pink zone, we look for it to go lower all the while. The risk is it starts to turn higher, breaks the yellow zone, breaks the black trend line, breaks the green shaded area, and then we look for a new uptrend to start um, as it breaks through those resistance highs for the dollar franc. 
From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.